Now it's time to go face Alduin. This really does look magnificent. Just absolutely so cool. So I have a couple of uh, basic potions. Um, just berserking, healing, stamina, magicka. The, the poison resistance one is elemental uh, resistance, which is really important for frost, because frost drains stamina. So that's what we're bringing to the battle. It's nice and quiet. Not for long. Well, let's get this party started. I almost forgot. Get uh, healing aura on and uh, resistance to poison. Yep, and a little alteration armor. Yeah, I brought along a special uh, bow with a special poison on it. And just to show you how high this uh, this takes health, that's a lot of health. Awesome. 
Well, that all went well. And that frost just took my stamina right out. I like to have uh, 65 magic resistance and then normally uh, potions of 25 magic resistance on top of that because those last, what, 300 seconds, which is a fairly long time. And coming up is one of the coolest things I've ever experienced in Requiem. Wow, that was fun. When did they pack this room with all that stuff? Well, actually what happened was, if you aggro everybody in the outside world and then you go into this room, they all follow you. That's what happens, and that's what happened here. Um, every single um, creature... I, I expected the dragons to... You know, there, there are three dragons, and I expected the three dragons to show up in here at one point. It, that that was great though. I, that was so much fun. It's uh, yeah. It, can we please have more of that? Okay, here's uh, what I wanted. There are three smithing items, and uh, that's a good book. I if you haven't read that book, I recommend it. And I've gone through entire games and only found a couple of those blacksmithing um, potions. The really good ones of five percent that's the highest you can have uh, you get four of them here and that's terrific because you can go through an entire game and find two uh, they might be lying around somewhere yeah absolutely great now we can upgrade our weapons and armor because they weren't strong enough but uh, we're not done
I really should take that Warhammer and uh, fill it up again with a Soul Gem. It, it really is a better weapon when you fill it up. You seem to get more of a stagger effect and, and uh, paralyze effect or something. So, I wonder what's going to follow me in here. Yep, beef stew is still on, so that's good. I always bring extra beef stew and um, bestial stew just in case it wears off or in case I have to take a, uh, uh, a potion to clear a disease or something. I always have extra. Yeah, let's exchange shouts and see how that works out. Now it's time for a little payback. Lasgar really hates spiders. She could just invest in a shout and walk past these guys. So we'll have that on and maybe use it somewhere down the line. But uh, for right now, she really wants to kill spiders. Yeah, that was a little payback.
A general rule of thumb, try to avoid poison dart traps. So, yeah, just double checking to make sure uh, no permanent damage. <laughs> that was fun. And I can hear another Draugr. Seems like it'd be a really good uh, word, but I think this is just another word that I'm going to collect and not use. Okay, let's see how many um, how many Draugr are here. Yeah, at this point, they get... Uh, I don't have many of these poisons. I only have a couple. Um, but... You know, if I see a dragon, they get either a poison arrow or two hits with a warhammer, and they're dead. You know, there does hit a point where killing dragons kind of stops being all that much fun. Because, man, you kill a bunch of them. I had uh, intended to kill a bunch more, but I, I just got tired of chasing dragons.
Okay, let's double check. We have three bags of holding. Nice. Lasgar started as a uh, working for a delivery company, and she has one final delivery to make. <laughs>